So on Thursday, I had my doctor appointment, and um, after being really frustrated with um, medical, the whole medical thing overall, I'm just especially Boston and Massachusetts, and I'm not really a fan of Massachusetts to begin with. Um, I had my had my doctor appointment, and. I'm really tired of not being treated with any kind of respect or sympathy or being condescended to or you know I, I'm on I, I have to take the medicine you know and you should know how to deal with people who are in pain cranky and on drugs you know especially if that's if that's your job and you shouldn't uh, be condescending or belittle people uh, because it's your job. You should know better. But I decided that <clears throat> I wanted to try a little experiment to see what would happen. Um, I also wanted to be sure that, um, you know, a lot of times the, the really bad behavior that happens to me, it happens when I'm not on speakerphone or when uh, I'm alone in person with whom, with these people, right? Although the one incident my husband noticed, he noticed that, which made me feel better, because because I, I'm constantly like do, like what, what you call like rethinking or double thinking. Like, am I overreacting? Um, am I just too sensitive? Is it because I'm on drugs? Am I just am, I'm already cranky to start with? Am I just you know projecting or whatever, right? So I decided I would dress up um, more corporate looking. Um, I put my hair up. I put my hair in like a bun, and I had my hair up all tight. I had a pearl necklace on, pearl earrings, and then I dressed like how you would dress to an interview. Very, very corporate. Like I could be their boss, like whoever these medical people were. Like I, I could be some executive or something. And... Um, I also decided that when I went to the office to have my, because I had to clean out my nose. I had surgery on the inside. They cut the thing open, moved it around, sewed it back together, cut stuff out, whatever. It's not fun. Okay? So I go there, and I took photos and everything, and I had my hair all up, had dressed really sharp, felt like crap, I, and because I, um, I didn't, uh, I had just gotten up, I just put the clothes on, I didn't even have time to remember to take my medicine, so I was in pain as I went there. As soon as I showed up, uh, they took me right away, and they said, uh, just go to the waiting room, They just have a seat, and they'll be right with you, which is what they always say, except I literally didn't have my butt in the seat for a whole 60 seconds, because the medical assistant came right out and got me. Okay, this never happens ever. Never. You never get services that quick, that fast. Ever. And even even when there's no one else, like, even when there's a low amount of people in the waiting room, okay, I, 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 you usually still have to wait and wait and wait and wait. So I took my spouse with me into the waiting room, and I sat there, and... Usually you sit there forever waiting for the doctor to come in and see you. He came right in. Um, not only that, but the whole time he was there, he was really nice to me. And he... Uh, so I don't... I, though this part, I don't know if it was because my spouse was there with me in the room. But definitely having him there, because I wanted someone to be there to witness you know, what it's like. So if he's, the, if the, the quote-unquote professionals are being unprofessional to me, <clears throat> I wanted a witness, right? But since I had a witness there with me, um, suddenly he, they, they were being, all of them, they were being nice to me. My, I mean, in the, in the office, the, 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 uh, the doctor was being really nice to me. Like, he was, like, doing, like, what, how he should be doing. Okay. But it was even more than nice this time. 
but also the I I'm I did dress up. I dressed up really formal and I they took care of me. I was done and then I left really fast. So from now on, from now on, this is a learning experience for me. Um, if I have to go to uh, something important, something serious as medical needs or whatever, look, I'm in poverty, okay? But when I dressed all corporate like that, and I dressed up like that, all formal, there was a huge noticeable difference in how I got treated and, and the quality of my care. The way people uh, addressed me, their attitudes toward me and everything. Okay, I, I honestly wish I had all this documented on video because it it was just like whoa. And then when I left, I, I I just it just totally reinforced this to me that it's like when you go to when you go to court, when you go to court, you dress up, you dress formal because they know everyone knows that uh, it, you. It goes better. It goes better in your favor when you dress formal. So, like, suit, tie, whatever, blazer, etc. Um, next time I have to go to a doctor's office, it's going to be all, it's going to be formal. I'm wearing, I'm dressing formal. Wearing, it's probably, I have probably a skirt or dress pants. Um, doing the pearl, the pearl earrings, the pearl necklace, the bun, everything. Um, it shouldn't be that way but it was.